going on gamers, Evertrix here and today we're gonna go ahead and talk about the new IgG update that hit the Taiwan server. They just kind of sneak this update out of nowhere, right? So essentially, we get a lot of the same things that come on a new update, but it seems like this update is going to be much bigger than usual. But of course, the first thing that we're gonna go ahead and go over is the new hero that's going to be introduced as well as the new pet. Now the new hero, I'm gonna go ahead and show you right now. This is the hero, this is the unevolved form, and this is the evolved form. So obviously it is a rhinoceros. So let's see what it says here. I'm going to try to put the, um, the description here somewhere. Maybe I'll put it right on top, I don't know yet. But essentially it says the name is Wild Giant Rhinoceros. Like I've always said to you guys, do not go with the Taiwan server name because it is just going to be changed in the English server. So currently, we really don't know the name for this hero until it actually is um, put in the description for the update for the English server. The skill name is showing as Man Beast Trampling. Again, that's subject to change. Now here we go with the description. Now this is from Google Translate, so it's going to be way off, but it'll give you an idea. Into the transfiguration state, the state of each X seconds to restore their own Pugong X percent of the value of life. I'm guessing that's like some sort of healing ability. Turned for 12 seconds with a cooldown of 14 seconds. In a turn state, within 3 seconds on the surrounding enemy targets up to a total of 16% damage caused by the general attack. I'm guessing that the 16% damage just in general not taking into consideration things like stone skin or whatnot and each time there is a 50% chance of injury to the enemy hero to reduce the X point of energy so it seems like this guy is going to do percent damage and also reduces energy so this is gonna be an Ares counter not only that but it has a four second cooldown and the hero is immune to energy reduction so that means Valentina um, it's kinda like a Valentina now it's not clear enough if it's just that he is going to be immune to Ares or if other things are also going to um, take into effect like is he going to be immune to scatter because he says hero is immune to energy reduction but it doesn't necessarily clarify exactly how that's gonna work because when Valentina came out I believe it's at the same thing but all it was is that she was immune to Ares, not necessarily that she was immune to Scatter. So that is going to be fairly interesting. Now here is the other thing. We have so many things to go over, but we'll, we'll just leave this for the hero and the pet. Now the pet, it's going to... Well, the name right now is called Wing Tiger. Subject to change, obviously. And the skill name is Magic Suppression. Now the skill description... Hero attacks, the wing will be around the region of the X enemy hero's pet attack power X% percent damage and reduce the target X% percent of the energy acquisition speed. That's a lot of weird things that it says right there, but what I'm gathering is, is that somehow this pet is going to be um, helping you lower energy. I believe we kind of have a hero like that in Draco, but maybe this one is going to work a little bit differently. Uh, but it's just going to be something else that we're going to have to deal with in uh, in PvP modes like Lost Battlefield, etc. Where this pet is really going to have an effect. But not only that, it can also be a big help in things like Here Be Monsters, maybe even Dungeons. So, I don't know. Uh, it's going to be interesting. I really want to get more clear information on this new hero. Because it sounds like he is going to be a great PvP hero. Um, anytime you get a, a hero that's immune to energy reduction, it's it's bound to be really strong. But I guess we'll have to see. Now, as for the stats, let's take a look. His attack power is actually not very high. It's only 4,000, which puts him in line with Michael. And if you remember, Michael himself doesn't really do a lot of damage. The one that does damage for Michael is the Archangel. So his attack power is actually quite lacking. His HP is 87,000, which is pretty high. I mean, let's see. That's that's almost a Michael. So he seems to be really tanky, not a lot of uh, uh, attack power. And the, he's going to be swinging rather slow. So 1,200 speed that puts him in line with somebody like a Lil Nick. Not very fast. Um, but he does move fairly fast, though. 360, that's a fairly fast speed. Um, let me see if I can get to somebody that's that moves pretty quickly. Maybe like a Skull Knight. Yeah, so he's going to be moving 
almost a Skull Knight speed. So he seems to be a very tanky hero with low attack power. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And thank you guys for watching. And until later, bye.